So about a week ago, I tried to factory reset my 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro. And, uh, you know, I went into a disk utility, I wiped the drive, and then I went to reinstall macOS like I have done hundreds of other times. But this time, something was a little different. This time, I was encompassed with the dreaded the recovery server could not be contacted error. And yes, this is a screenshot of the actual error because I do have macOS stalled on my Mac after I fixed the issue and I'm not gonna wipe my hard drive and go through this again. So I know that this error has become very prevalent recently and I haven't really seen much of a discussion of it online. So um, I hope this video is able to help you, but if it's not, please, please leave a comment down below uh, telling me what your certain situation is and I'll try my best to help you. So if you restart your MacBook and you go into, you know, the recovery mode holding Command R, you're more than likely going to run into this version of Mac US Utilities if you're running an older Intel Mac. But I think the problem here is that Apple actually shut down the servers that provide that older version of Mac OS. So what you really have to do is go into a newer version of recovery mode. So here's all that you really have to do. I'm just going to restart my computer and instead of holding Command R, I'm actually going to hold Option Command and R. Did I do it quick enough? Let's see if I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. And this will bring you into the newer recovery mode uh, called internet recovery. And this will actually allow you to install a newer version of macOS onto your computer that actually has active servers that you can actually download from. So once I connect to the internet, it's going to take a second or two. Wow, this really is taking forever. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Um, so now you should be greeted to a newer looking interface. Oh, if it only focused. So when your computer finally boots up, you're gonna be greeted to this newer looking version of recovery mode. And all you really have to do is just click reinstall Ventura. Well, continue. And then um, when you click continue from here, it should actually work. And you shouldn't be faced with that error anymore. But if you are still getting that error, don't panic yet. Let's just try a couple things and let's see what happens. Now, the first thing you could do is make sure you're connected to the internet. I know that sounds stupid and simple, but sometimes entering the password in wrong will throw off the whole thing. So just be 100% sure that you're on the internet. Now you're probably like, yeah, I did that, whatever. So if you did factory reset your Mac and you just left it sitting for a while or maybe it like ran out of battery or something, it could be possible that the time and the date just drifted off. And I know that might seem improbable, but it actually did happen to me and I did have to go in and fix it. So uh, let me show you how to do that. Next, what I want you to try is go up to utilities here and then click terminal and then just type in the word, if it loads, date. And if this is off, well, it does give the time in UTC, but if this is off, all you have to do is just type in this command right here and then click enter and then it should sync your time and date up to what's on Apple servers. So it's up to date. So after you run that command, just go back in and try and reinstall macOS. But if that doesn't work, uh, please leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you. So if this tutorial helped you, please leave a like and possibly subscribe down below. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.